Hey guys, so this is Liz's inspirational post. I just want to get rich the way you all get pregnant, unplanned and fast. So Liz and Darby, Darby has been on many occasions talking about how he does not want to work hard. So if you are a potential investor and you're seeing Darby's you know, reaction to hard work and his unwillingness to do it, I mean, there are many examples when TPG was collapsing, Anthony sat the whole team down and asked uh, Darby and Liz, hey, Darby, like, is there anything we can do a daily vlog? And the guy looked like he was going to die. Yeah, he looked like he was going to die. Um, these two are among the most lazy individuals I've ever watched on YouTube, and that's saying a lot. I... Watch Boogie 2988, and uh, these two are more lazy than him. So at least Boogie gives it an effort, right? I mean, he's trying. Uh, these two simply do not try, and they don't care if anyone knows that they're not trying. Now, part of this type of behavior is really bad management. Um, you can tell from Anthony's employees that they spend more time at games, at championships, they spend a lot of time doing not selling watches. So again, I think uh, in terms of why this business model is going to fail is simply put, everyone is joining the business, uh, including people like Alfred, right? Because they feel like the business is very flashy, very flex lifestyle. Everyone gets a Ferrari, or at least at the very least, a few Ducatis, right? And they get to motorcycle around and have a good time at the expense of, you know, some unknown investor who's just gonna pump money. Even as Anthony explained it, supposedly, and I, I'm getting to the point I just don't believe this anymore, but supposedly there was an unknown investor type and he just gave Anthony $2 million with the instruction hey, enjoy yourself build yourself up, and uh, go for it, Anthony. I've never heard an investor not have a plan. Uh, the plan was Anthony would spend the money on everything. And like you watch these vlogs, and the majority of the vlogs are him just paying hundreds of $100 to cut somebody in line at a restaurant, or him offering a few thousand dollars to buy some random airline passenger's bag because he likes it. And that passenger's like, who the F are you? Get out of here. Um, it's, it's basically the perception of wealth from somebody who is very poor. Uh, poor intellectually and then poor financially. It's somebody who has not the smartest financial education, but he wants you to believe, right? I mean... How many videos are of him giving advice to people what watches to buy? How long to hold? Is it a good investment? It'll never go down. Build your $1 million watch collection today. There's so many videos where a guy with very little education and no education to my knowledge in the financial sectors is telling you how to invest. I mean, this is clueless. This is beyond horrific, and this is a great market. You know, we can point out the Paul Forbes, right? It's, it's a little ironic, yes, that the dude who is going to be the watch guardian couldn't even figure out that his son was selling fake watches. Like his own son selling fake watches. Nope. Couldn't, couldn't figure that out. And that's Paul Forbes, right? And the guy who's about company and building and, and building and building and building. I mean, he lays off his like best employee during Christmas time, Peter. It's it's bizarre, right? Um, and then you talk about the TPT and the CRM. You know, they have a giant yacht, but they're and Ferraris, and nice cars, and nice dinners, and they're, but they're doing raffles? Why? Like, it, it doesn't seem to align. And then, of course, Alpha Crown, right? They make a big deal about how awesome consignment is, and 
by the dealer. We're, we're great consigners. We have hybrid consignment where we take your fee. I'm, I'm going to rip hybrid consignment right now. <laughs> they take your fee. Okay, like that, that's like that wasn't the point when I, I explained like my version of consignment. Like it was you're paying money for people to do marketing. So you're paying for photographies, videographies, you're paying for somebody to sit with the watch owner while they're watching and they own their, their watches to do things that then you would pay them to do and then you would pay them a cost to do it and then they would go back. You're not going to pay them the fee to sell your watch because you haven't sold the watch and you don't know how much you sold it for. And that's basically, <laughs> in my opinion, no different. Um, yes, they haven't lost their watch, but they could theoretically lose their fee, right? If things go poorly. But back to Anthony and the whole charity thing. So, I mean, you're $4.7 million in debt in charity, Darby. Darby is that charity figure, right? He wants a skateboard park built for his friend. He wants uh, a kidney for his friend. Even though he wants new eyes. He wants a new car. He wants Lambo doors. He wants a nice apartment complex. None of this like emphasizes like a real business. Like it's not surprising to me, Anthony. Out of all the people Anthony hired, Z he's gone in the wind. Trevor is sitting in jail right now for a un, surprisingly an unrelated crime to the Watts TPG. Anthony is in jail. Liz and Darby, all they talk about all the time is about being lazy and making money fast, which is a scam. <laughs> it's it's definitely. Then you got Jimmy and Marco running a company on posting videos on the same YouTube channel that TPG used to be, and both of these people were the right-hand man. Right? I mean, <laughs> for the the majority of period Anthony was running his little scam, they were there. Marco during TPG, TJ, TPG days, and then Jimmy even went to California with him to spend a lot of time with him. Then you got Alpha Crown. I mean, it's a, it's a mess over there. I hope, I really hope for the consigner's sake they get it fixed. But they started deleting videos. Uh, there was like a rumor video they deleted. It, it, it's like crazy to me that like that's that's not confidence, man. That's not confidence. Confidence is you. all these gray watch market dealers, they have one thing in common. They love deleting video. They love making promises in one video. So they look really awesome and flexy, right? And then... When the promises cannot be kept, two months later, two weeks later, they start deleting the videos. So it looks like that they never made the video. So back to Anthony and really like where I see him heading. I see that there's probably a lot more great watch market dealers like Anthony. They're just better uh, hiding uh, different scenarios. Like when you're watching these vlogs, he's never working. And when he's working with these fake phone calls, they're too easy. There's never any actual customer who comes in. Which makes no sense because you have a ground level in in Beverly Hills, right? Or wherever this is located, South Rodeo Drive. No customers come in. Like there's no one interested. I, I I'm it really does seem like the partying the fancy $17,000 Salt Bay. All of this makes no sense in the context of running a real business. It, it simply does not. Um, and I have no idea how we all fell for it, right? Like, how, how, how could we ever assume this was a real business from the raffles to the Facebook groups to the tournaments? So, I mean, a lot of this stuff in hindsight, if you watch the older videos, there were red flags everywhere, including how lazy his employees are. 